Exhausted and scared, it took this family five days to reach the Peshmerga defensive position. They've walked across these parched hills from their village in ISIL-controlled territory, sometimes struggling to find shelter from coalition airstrikes and Iraqi army shelling. The situation is tense. There are airstrikes, artillery shelling. I have escaped with my family as soon as we could. ISIL were relocating from one place to another, and many of them were pushed and squeezed further into Hawija. There is no food or water available in our village. Conditions are miserable. We barely managed to get out. We used to live off the scraps of food. Our property and land was all destroyed. The Peshmerga are defending this position against potential fleeing ISIL fighters. From this area, as the Iraqi military and Shia militias advance in this direction, this area here, there's still a number of villages there that are controlled by ISIL. In the last few minutes, we've seen two ISIL fighters come here and surrender. The commander at this position says that in the last two weeks, around 200 ISIL fighters have surrendered at this position alone. The Peshmerga took control of this area from ISIL in 2014 after the Iraqi army fled. It is beyond the official boundary of the semi-autonomous Kurdish regional government controlled area of northern Iraq. But the commanders here say the Peshmerga won't withdraw when the fight against the last pockets of ISIL is over. All these lands you see have been taken and defended by the Peshmerga and we will not give them back. Many Peshmerga died defending these lands. We have opened humanitarian and military corridors for people displaced and military personnel. Hawija was the last stronghold for ISIL in northern Iraq. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi says the town has been retaken. But disagreement between the Kurds and the Iraqi government about who will control areas such as Hawija have just begun. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Dibbis, Northern Iraq.